a small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed. So if you like this video, consider subscribing and also follow me on Twitch where I stream and play with followers. Also, if you'd like to, you can follow me on Twitter where you can stay up to date with me. And I also have a Discord. So if you'd like to, we can connect more on there. Now let's get back to the video. Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Clay, and in today's video, I got you guys the best Bruin MK9 class setup in Modern Warfare 3. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Let's try to get this video to 50 likes. I'd highly appreciate it, and it helps out the channel a bunch. Over on the secondary, I'm using the Karambit. That is basically so I can get around the map a lot quicker. I am using an LMG, so this is very, very needed. Over on the tactical, I'm using the Stem so I can get away from gunfights that I probably won't win. On the lethal, I'm using the frag grenade, the munitions box for the field upgrade, scavenger gloves so I can pick up more ammo off of dead bodies if I do not have the munitions box. The boots is the running sneakers. This gives you more uh, attack sprint duration and reduces the refresh time. And over on the gear, I use the EOD padding, but I do like to switch between EOD and tack mask. The vest I'm using is the demolition vest. It is basically resupply and you get two frag grenades. So jumping over into the attachments over on the stock, I'm going to be using the Tor 56 stock for crouch movement speed, aim walking speed, aim down sight speed, and sprint speed. You do lose a little bit of aiming out of sway, recoil control, and gun kick control, so you got to keep that in mind. Over on the magazine, I'm using the 60 round mag. This adds a lot of aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed, and reload quickness. This helps out with being a slow LMG, and it just... It fits my playstyle a lot. I'm a very fast paced player. Over on the underbarrel, I'm using the FTAC Tiger Grip for aiming out of sway, hip fire accuracy, and recoil control. The cons are walking speed and aim down side speed. Over on the barrel, I'm using the FT Ferocity LR barrel for bullet velocity and range. The cons are aim down side speed, aiming out of sway, hip fire, and tack stance spread. And over on the laser for my last attachment, I'm using the one milliwatt quick fire laser. The only pro is aim down side speed and there are no cons. It is literally the perfect laser to use and it works well with LMGs. That is going to do it for this class setup. I have a crazy gameplay for you guys. I ended up dropping a nuke. I hope you guys enjoy that gameplay. And if you do, let me know with a like and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, we're going to be checking out the Bruin today. I've kind of made this like the old Bruin, if anybody remembers the 2019 version. It's not exactly like it. Still got some little tweaks that you can, or that I did do. Still got the magazine though, so... I'm dying to nades. I think this is going to be a... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the munitions box just in case. I don't know if I want to challenge that. I do need to go to the hard point though. Help out my team. Actually, let me blow up this car. Why are you already here? All right, we have another UAV. Um, I don't, I don't know where they're coming from, but I'm gonna throw that nade right there. Do I get on the hill or not? No, teammate, get... Uh, I was too busy worried about you, like... I do want to win this game, but I also want to get, like, a... A good enough amount of kills. I did nuke this map before, which is... Actually insane. Need to get up out of there. Yeah, 
If I do get a veto, I think we can afford to lose a couple hills. Need to be careful though, because you can get sniped. Throw down the munitions box. I'll turn down my volume a little bit because it is kind of loud. I don't know if it's loud on the recording though. We're on a 12 now. We got an advanced UAV. I don't know if I want to use the UAV yet. Because I could still definitely get a nuke if I played this right. I would just like to be on like a higher kill streak whenever I use the UAV. Try to throw a nade over there. Okay, we got a hit marker. Definitely need to be careful. There's a guy behind us. He's dead now. Okay, we're on a 16. I think I got 20 alcohol in the UAV. Okay, we're on 18. Nineteen. Teammate right there is actually helping me a lot. I need to go though. Let's get this munitions box down. There's some people over here. We're on a 23. It's pretty good. Need to be careful. Go ahead and call that in. Play a little sneaky. I think we need one more. No, we need two more. Okay. There's a guy over here. Teammates are taking care of business. That's the nuke right there. Let's go. 30 kills on underpass with the Bruin. So now we can kind of just afford to do stupid stuff, I guess. <clears throat> we should probably, I'm gonna try to win actually. Let's go ahead and rotate. The timing on that is actually insane. That little drone thing that they keep throwing at me, I, that, I don't know why that's in the game. Like, look, he did it again. I 
have an I was gonna say I have an LMG. I could take this gunfight, but apparently I can't. They throw a nade at me. I'm dead. Another UAV. We are actually getting close to winning now, so like that's that's good. Our teammates are playing objective a little bit more. I'm playing objective, that's good. The game can last a while. I could probably end up getting like 80. I'm dead. Let's put this on the new hill. I don't know if I'll be able to get a double nuke or not. God, I'm in a I'm in a bad spot. Time is running out too. He's running away. He's calling the nuke. Set. 79 kills, probably get one or two more here. All right, we got 81 kills. That's, that's good. 82 kills because of the nuke. GG's.